enjoyed those swatches. I did get the brown edition. Let me try and put them back together because it's kind of a mess. So yeah, I got the uh, Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Brown Edition, let's say, collection from Cult Beauty. I was so happy when um, these launched on Cult Beauty because Huda Beauty, I remember Huda Beauty saying that these were limited to some area and we were getting, the UK would be only getting the red edition. But then when I saw that all of them were coming to the UK, I was just so excited and I had to grab the brown edition because I just absolutely br love brownie colours. Um, this was £33, which I think is not bad because uh, £33 for four colours rather than £18 for one is a good bargain and I don't really mind that they're little mini ones that these will go a long way with me so I'm just going to do a quick quick review on the liquid mattes themselves um, they are very 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 comfy to wear I really really love them super pigmented and I have really really pigmented lips and they still like just with one swipe they just go on really really well and one thing that I absolutely love about them is the smell they smell like vanilla cupcake it's like not too sweet or empowering, it's just the right amount of scent, if you guys know what I mean. In terms of longevity, they last really, really well. I mean, I would probably only need to reapply maybe like once throughout the day, just to do a quick top coat because sometimes it just fades away in the middle. But they're very, very comfy to wear, they don't feel drying whatsoever. I would have to give that to her, like these don't feel drying to me at all compared to other liquid lipsticks I've tried. The only thing is that some of the shades have a slight tackiness to it, like like a little bit. It's not too much, but it does have like... I don't know if you can see, it has that slight tackiness to it. I don't really mind that, but some people do. But yeah, I think that's the only negative thing for it. Like, I just absolutely love these. That's why I just had to like splurge on a little um, mini collection one because they're just I think they're so worth the money and yeah and I also love how these make your lips look super super plump like it just makes them look nice and smooth and just plumpy and they're just really good guys like I don't I, that's all I have to say about them they're just really good now as some of you have been sending me some messages saying that you can get them for like really cheap on eBay Guys, there's a reason that it's cheap on eBay. It's because it's fake, okay? It's not a real one. In the um, brown edition, you have Trendsetter, Flirt, Spice Girl, and Vixen. Vixen is a very dark colour, as you guys saw. Um, but I already have Spice Girl in a full size, which I bought a while ago. And I thought I will buy the fake one off eBay in Spice Girl. Ooh. And show you guys the comparison and how nasty it is, okay? The fake one is nasty. And... I think it's such a ripoff because it's six ninety nine. I mean, six ninety nine for fake. That's such a ripoff. Okay, so um, as I said, I do have the Spice Girl in the full size, and I'm gonna swatch this for you. So the Spice Girl goes on very smoothly. It's opaque. There's no like streaks or anything. And then let me swatch the bloody uh, fake one. And this is the packaging. Look at that. The teeth are so weird. I don't have the original packaging to be honest. Been thrown away ages ago, but it's a good it's a good copy I would say. But if you you would see like the lip has been printed like weirdly, it's not a right print. The teeth are cut off and half of the lip is down here. If you guys can see. I don't know, it just looks dodgy. So these are the two compared together. This is the real, this is the fake, and you can see the writing is a bit thicker, and the hood is brighter on the fake one, and look at the lid, like, the hood one is, like, shiny, but this is all, like, matte or something, but I have to get, say that they copied this really well. If you guys can see that writing, this one's the real one, and then this is the fake. And it's kind of like uh, fake. The, the real one's a bit clearer to read, and this is a bit. I don't know. You guys can see it's a bit faded, I would say. So let me just swatch the fake one. And bear in mind that these are the same shade. Well, what they claim to be the same shade. That's the swatches. Guys, does that look like Spice Girl? No, that looks red to me. If I'm paying six ninety nine, it better be the same color at least. Look how patchy that fake one is once it's dry. Look at that. That's just nasty, okay? It's nasty. 
It smells so weird. It smells very artificial. Ugh, do you know what it smells like? It smells like those cheap lip balms I used to get when I was little from the market. That's what it smells like. When I open this one, it comes out normal, but then when I open this one, there's like pressure. Like it just wants to push itself. Look at that. What is that? But yeah, that's, I think that's all I have to say. Like, that is not worth $6.99. And guys, if you're going to spend $6.99 on a fake one, or even 99 p you might, it's so much better to just get the real one. I mean, what's the point of getting fake stuff? I don't see the point. And the thing is, is that you don't even know what they put in this. Like, there's a reason why it's cheaper. It's because they put a bunch of crap in it, and they make it look as if it's the same, but it's really not. And just by the smell of it, you can just tell that they just put crap in it. It just smells so, so, like, artificial. And then the Huda Beauty one smells like, literally, like, vanilla cupcakes. And it just smells like real stuff. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just seriously not worth the money, you guys. And please don't buy these stuff, because they have, like, toxins in there, and, like, weird stuff. Like, I don't even want to put it on my lips, because my lips have been going funny lately. Like, I've been getting bumps, and I've been having allergic reactions to some lipsticks. And I'm not going to put that on my lips, because I know I don't even know what they put in there, but I know there's a bunch of crap. There can be, like, some... I've heard people say that there's glue in there, and, like, toxins, and really disgusting stuff, so... Please, please, please don't buy fake makeup online, and... Like for example, even this is £33, I think it's such a bargain because you get four colours and you can't go wrong with this. Um, and trust me, the actual Huda Beauty liquid matte is so much, mo so much more worth it. So I thought I would just touch up on the real versus fake because seriously it's not worth the money and it's actually not a nice thing to put on your lips, on your body. Like you don't know what these people are putting in it. So try, try, try not to buy this stuff on, on like ebay because it's it's just fake it's disgusting anyways i hope you enjoyed this video and you guys like the swatches i absolutely love the uh, colors that i got and i'll probably give like the second spice girl for my sister or something or even maybe just keep it in my handbag i don't know i'll see but that's how much i love it i actually didn't mind if i had a second color of spice girl i just wanted the brown edition but yeah make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to my channel let me know what you would like to see next in the comments below i love you guys and i will see you next time bye